We're coming back. back. We're back. Hollywood and MTV, this is it. This is the match that decides who gets to control Jeeves. But there's no decision to be made because he belongs to me and I will get him back. Even if it means I have to break every last little bone in your scrawny little bodies. We don't call him Jeeves. Nope. We call, call him, him Blaze. <laughs> it's obvious why he likes us. I mean, can't you tell why he likes us, Tiffany? He wants to hang out with us and party. Hey, yeah. Uh, no, 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 don't tell me that. Your I'm breath your... smells. You never no, I'm fresh my teeth. No, 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 you're the one that's doing it. What's the deal? down, no. Sarah and Mabel. What? Can you make a sentence using the word gimmick? Can you use that word? Yes, yeah, Mabel's got it. I've got, I've got the word. Uh -huh. If I ever see the Rolling Stones, I'm gonna give me Jagger a kid. <laughs> we, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, live a life of action and excitement. But the biggest thrill is talking personally with you, Hi, our fans. So call us. The Glow Girls at 1-900-234-4GLO. That's 1-900-234-4GLO. Day or night. Calls are $2 for each minute. Kids, get your parents' permission first. What is your buddy, babe? Well, I think he's a prospector. Well, how do you know that? Because he told me he can't wait to hit pay dirt. <laughs> what is your buddy do? Well, he's a plumber, and he wants me to help him unclog drains. Really? Yep. He told me we were going to pull out all the stops tonight. Oh, boy. <laughs> Explosion to settle once and for all who has possession of the Butler G's. Introducing first from New York City, Roxy and Tiffany, the fabulous Park Avenue Knockout. I'm serious when I say I'm tough. My diamonds are smooth, my style is rough. Fighting with me is such a charge. My moves are rich and my bill is large. Oh, wow. Some say I'm gentle, some say I'm nice. I say that you'd better think twice, because with Rusty at my side, I know you'll want to run and hide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roxy and Tiffany opponents tonight are both from Los Angeles, California. They are MTV and Hollywood! Melanie Trouble Vixen, MTV and Hollywood! Hollywood and MTV bringing the former Jeeves, who they now call Blaze, who they now call Blaze, to the ring area. I'm tough, wild, strong, and slick, and I know Every dirty trick. I'll hurt you every chance I could. You just don't mess with Hollywood. Woo! I love to dance. I love to sing. Rock and roll is my thing. So come on and sing with me a sweet rock and roll melody. Woo! I got to say, Tiffany, I like them better in a butler outfit. She has no comment. Tiffany and Roxy very upset about this, of course. We're ready to get in the... Wait a minute, you two! Wait a minute! They're defacing the pillars here at the Riviera. We could do without this vulgar display of trash you get into me in Hollywood. Why don't you get in here and fight? I'm gonna get my butler back whether you like it or not! Come on, MTV in Hollywood. Let's get into the ring for this match to determine who takes possession of Jeeves or Blaze, whatever his name is. Don't worry, Jeeves, I'll get you back. I'll have you home safe before you know it, Jeeves. What is it, MC?
Line. The Californians waiting to catch the New Yorkers off guard and now putting the boots to them. Hey, Tiffany and Roxy, don't you think uh, Jeeves uh, Blaze, Blaze gets a little tired of eating uh, fish eggs and snails? Oh, God. God. Yeah, he wants pizza! pizza. <laughs> Hollywood goes for her handcuffs. The winners of this match get the butler, and the losers go home with a lot of lumps. And the action gets even hotter next week, as the pink elephant, Ninochka, returns to battle the widow in black, who almost put her out of wrestling with a lethal dose of poison. And all 30 glow girls will be on call for the incredible Las Vegas lottery match, where the combatants are pulled out of a hat, and no one knows who's coming next. Now the street girls have stolen the knockout coats. I guess kidnapping Tiffany's butler Jeeves wasn't enough. Wait, Tiffany's unlocking those handcuffs with a bobby pin, taking a page out of Hollywood's book. And they throw the book at the foes, reclaiming their designer jackets. The only label that should be on MTV's outfits is, don't let this happen to you. When a knee rocks the rocker. <laughs> and now a drop kick has Melody rocking and reeling. Roxy working over the street girl. Hollywood has lots of fans in attendance. Uh, she probably kidnapped them, too. Tiffany's very upset about this. Oh, and when yeah. Tiffany's upset, I'm upset. No, right, Tiff? That's right, Roxy. That's right. But listen, Hollywood and MTV, we don't get mad. We just get even. <laughs> These grapplers are going at it tooth and nail. The action has been so furious that Johnny C dropped his powder puff in the excitement. <laughs> Tiffany running roughshod over the rocker. Roxy trying to lock up Hollywood for the pin. Ooh, but she powers out. The street fighter always gives 110% in the ring, probably because she was never any good in math. Hollywood and MTV turn Jeeves into a punker and now call him Blaze, and this match has set the arena ablaze. Speaking of Blaze's melody, looks like a remnant from a fire sale. Hollywood catches Roxy. No, just able to kick out. Now going for the pin herself. Oh, I only hope Jeeves appreciates what's going on. But so far, all he's been is a silent butler. Ooh, her knee rocks Roxy. And Tiffany decides it's time to take out the trash. That's probably where the musical menace found her outfit in the first place. The Park Avenue knockout will not be denied. She's teaching the rocker how to roll. Now all four girls are battling outside the ring. If this ends in a double count out, who gets Jeeves? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny C's got his eye on him. After all, good help is hard to find. The grapplers ignoring the referee's count. They're only interested in dishing out the punishment. But with no butler, who's gonna clean the dishes? They're brawling without let up on each other like a cheap suit. <laughs> Tiffany and Roxy haven't seen this much action since sale day at Neiman Marcus.
and Tiffany hurls MTV back into the ring. Roxy follows her, hoping to pin the multicolored mop. But the street gal breaks it up. Now the Golden Girl joins in. The New Yorkers restraining Hollywood. I can't believe they've got anything left. These grapplers have been going at it full throttle since the bell. And I defy any woman wrestler out there to try and keep pace with these glow girls. The knockouts set by the ropes. Ooh, and a double smash to the gut downs the California contingent. Roxy tries to roll them both up for the pin. And Tiffany supplies the extra oomph to take them over the top. The winners of the match, the winners of the match are Tiffany and Roxy of Park Avenue Knockouts. They regain control of Jeeves, possession of Jeeves, their butler. The winners. Jeeves looks, Jeeves looks a little reluctant to go. The Tiffany. Roxy Hollywood, this match is over. And Roxy, this match is over. Come on now, girls. novel, the butler did it after all.